where'd that intestine go? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Uh, a trio of different organs in one bite. If you love organs, this is a bowl of soup you're gonna love. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com. I am in Jakarta, Indonesia, and for afternoon snack today, I am at a stall on the side of the road that serves Choto Makassar. And we got here just before the afternoon rain, so luckily we got here, and now it's just about starting to rain. And this is uh, from Makassar, which is in southern Sulawesi. This is a type of beef soup. And this will be my first time to ever try it. So this is a really cool spot. It's um, kind of a, like a local small restaurant, but it is open air, but it is sort of indoors at the same time. And it's right off the main highway, so there's a big road over here, and then it's just down a kind of small side street. This is a little bowl, just a small bowl. And then I got the mixed beef version, so there are all sorts of goodies in here. There are uh, intestines and liver and there's some tripe down there and then there it was topped with green onions as well as um, some crispy shallots so let me just take a, a spoonful of that soup first mm. oh I wasn't expecting it to be like kind of sourish it has a sour flavor and it has a, a little bit of a nutty flavor I think I think the broth is made from peanuts. I'm not totally sure. And then you can definitely taste those crispy shallots in there. And it has a, a soothing beef flavor to it. But what you're supposed to do is add some seasoning to it. So I'm gonna grab a lime and then squeeze in some, some lime juice. Even though it does, have a, it does already have a sourness to it. I'm not sure from what. Also, it's not actually salty at all. So I think there's a, there's a cup of salt here that you're supposed to add in some salt. A little bit of salt in there. But yeah, it's prepared very saltless. Okay, let me go for an intestine in this bite. It's like a rich, beefy soup. Mm, and just, just really pleasant with those shallots in there and those green onions. To eat along with the choto makasar are these rice cakes, which are called ketu, ketchupak. I think they are called ketchupak and they're packed into these um, leaf, some kind of a leaf wrapper. And I don't even know how to open, oh, oh, it's open from the back here. I think this is Indonesian compressed rice. Let me open these guys up. And then we saw another table and they were adding some of this sambal chili sauce to the rice. So I will grab some and I will stick it right into the middle of this little rice cake. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that sambal is award-winning. Oh, it's sour and it's pungently spicy. There might be some sour tamarind in there because it has a sharp sourness to it. Oh, and then that rice is amazing. I think it's just regular rice, but it's condensed and compressed, so it's very sticky. And then let me follow that with a bite of the, the choto. That's a combination like I've never had before. It's like a nutty beef stew with compressed rice and then hot sour chili sauce right in the middle of this bowl of choto. It has started to downpour, but that is making this environment even better. I'm gonna add in a little bit of that sambal into, the, into my soup. This sambal is so pungently good. And I don't even know, there might be some kind of, I think there are fermented beans in there because I can see some there. There's a, there's a bean right there. So it might have some fermented beans in it to give it such a, a potent flavor. Oh, here we go. Here's a good bite with an intestine and some tripe, I believe. Those are definitely some contrasting textures in that bite. 
the intestine is very chewy-ish, and then that tripe is very crisp. Both together, all wrapped up in that beef soup. I'm gonna take one more of these rice cakes. These are really good, and especially with that sambal. And put it into my, my soup. Kind of break it, break it up a little bit. That first bowl of choto makasar was so good. And because it's still raining, Ying and I both decided to order another bowl of it. And the bowls are pretty small in size, so they're they're kind of like good snack bowls. So she assembled another bowl for me, got all the parts in here, the lungs, the, the heart, is that heart? There are various tripes and intestines, and that aroma of the uh, crispy shallots is just fantastic. This is good stuff, really good. Where'd that intestine go? Oh, there we go, oh, there we go. Uh, a trio of different organs in one bite. And then I got my last bite of rice cake here. I'm gonna add a little bit of that sambal as well. Mm. That rice is awesome too. The texture is amazing. I definitely can say that I got my iron and my minerals in through eating all those organs. Delicious, and this is just a cool spot as well. I like this environment, this atmosphere. It made a good place to wait out the rain as well. And great bowls of soup, and along with those rice, compressed rice, that was really, really good. Oh, and that sambal. That was an award-winning sambal as well. Thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click subscribe for more food videos and I'll see you on the next video. That piece that I just got is very, very chewy. And elastic, it definitely has some elasticity to it.